Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your uh, Libra read. Libra, I'm a day early with your reading. Um, I've just turned the light off. I seem to be having a lot of light on me today. It's quite interesting really um, how sometimes the light seems to be really bright. I have little monsters in the machine. Um, <laughs> Libra, if the reading resonates with you, please make sure you give me a thumbs up so I can grow the channel. If it doesn't resonate with you, make sure you check out other aspects of your natal chart to see where the planets were when you're born, because sometimes your moon rising or your Venus will be more resonant with you. All right, I'm going to use the Wild Unknown Tarot for your reading. And we are ready. Oh, funny split. All right, so we have here the Sun of Pentacles. Okay, so the Sun of Pentacles is a slow moving energy. Something is happening here, but it's going very, very slowly. Um, I feel that it's a very solid, grounded offer, but it's just coming in slowly, whatever this is for you. It's taking its time. Yeah, it's incubating here incubating so we have here the eight of swords now the eight of swords is a card of being like trapped in a prison so it's sort of this energy of waiting for something being trapped feeling trapped while you're waiting um maybe overthinking something waiting to come your way but overthinking an outcome or an energy all right and then we have the Wow, the King of Cups coming through. So some of you here waiting on a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, I'm really sort of, the energy of the cards here is just really, it's almost like you've given up waiting here for someone. There's very strong energy that you're done. Okay, the devil energy is here. Oh wow, followed by the King of Pentacles. There's like this energy of, of waiting so long on something that you've given up on it and you've just decided to sort of go about your business, move on your way and leave something behind. There's a resignation here, a resignation of, you know, what was perhaps you've imagined something, perhaps you've been trying to manifest something and there's this energy of it just doesn't seem to be happening but it's not even just that it doesn't seem to be happening. It's a real, I'm just giving up on this. I'm not going to work on it any longer. Um, and I feel like you stepping into this energy of the King of Pentacles here and just feeling very sort of comfortable just to move on and not sort of worry about what's been happening. Um, okay, the judgment card is behind that. Wow, and then the sun. All right, so it feels like the energy of once you've turned your back and moved away, something something comes to you here. So let's have a look at what's going on. Sometimes the judgment card can talk about rebirth or return. It can talk about being risen from the dead. So sometimes we leave something for dead and then it comes back. It's sort of like this energy that you've, you've sort of given up on something and the moment you give up, something comes to you. So let's have a look what they're talking about here. Okay, so we have here the Daughter of Swords. Somebody's keeping an eye on something here. Some, somebody's been watching something. Somebody's been monitoring something here. It could have been that you've been watching over someone to see whether they're coming in your direction. Maybe you've been sort of somewhat stalking someone but I feel like this is another person's energy here all right so here we have the daughter of wands somebody here has been keeping an eye on a situation waiting for the right time to pounce um so it's almost like somebody has taken their time because the time wasn't right up until now for something to happen. Let's keep going. All right, we have here the magician. Yeah, somebody's been waiting for the right time here for sure. All right, and then we have the 
King of Wands coming through. Wow, okay. What I'm getting here is it's like somebody hasn't felt ready. I feel like you've been working or, or waiting on someone that didn't feel ready that is now coming up as the King of Wands. Whoever this person was, they've been waiting for something to fall into place so they could make a move. It's like they've been keeping an eye on things here. See how the owl is watching the snake? It's almost like it's watching its prey, waiting to sort of dive down and grab this snake. But the time hasn't been right. But now this person is taking on the energy of the magician. So it's almost like this person is now ready to move into a new time. Look, he's just been waiting here. It's beautiful how the cards line up like that. This is now ready to strike. This person's ready to strike. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so we have here the mother or the queen of pentacles followed by the Strength card, followed by the Four of Swords. Oh boy, it's like they've been sort of looking at you here, like I've got the Lion and the Lamb. <laughs> Look. So it's almost like this person's wanted to grow into their own Lion. You could have been dealing with a, Libra, uh, with a Leo here. Um... And it's like, uh, like they, it's sort of like they've been waiting to, it still feels like this energy here, of like waiting to strike. Being strong enough and being in the right place with this strength card to make this offer. He's got the rose in his mouth. But the timing hasn't been right at all. But I sort of feel like with this Queen of Pentacles, maybe... You haven't been in the right place to receive either. So it's sort of like the universe has kept you both on hold for this thing to move forward. But it's like here that you gave up or you've given up on it. It just doesn't seem to be happening here. Let me just go through this again before I put more cards down. So we have somebody here that's been moving very slowly. And I feel like this has been your energy, like you felt trapped waiting for this. So it's almost like you are, you know, waiting for some, some water sign or some offer here from a water sign. But somehow being trapped in this energy, I feel strongly here, like you were starting to feel like it was toxic waiting for someone. So you let them go here. You've let them go. And there seems to be some sort of rebirth happening now because of that, which is bringing in this beautiful sun, again with the Leo energy. Okay, I feel like this person has been waiting to strike, but I feel like it's almost here in all these energies like lamb to the slaughter, someone striking, someone coming in to sort of take their prey. It's almost like this energy of someone stalking you or, or watching every move you make, knowing when the moment was right. But it's not. It's sort of like this energy of understanding you weren't ready. So it's like spiritually watching you, but knowing you weren't quite ready for them to come to you. They've been trying to get ready and they're waiting for you to be ready here. So if you've been waiting on someone to do some work, there's a strange feeling here. They're waiting for you to do the work you need to do too. All right. Okay, so we have here... The Seven of Swords. It's funny, isn't it? Because I think somebody said to me this morning, there's only six swords in this card. But the, the fox is actually sitting on the seven here. The Seven of Swords talks again about somebody being coming and waiting for the right time. This is really strange energy here. All right, and then we have the four cards. See again with this waiting and this strike. Waiting for something to strike. Waiting for something to be right. Waiting for it to be in the right place so somebody can strike. 
And it's almost like this person has been doing some work on themselves and maybe they have been waiting to strike, but it's almost like you have been as well. So there's a very strong energy here of both of you waiting for each other. And because of that, it's giving this feeling that so much time has passed. But I do have the Seven of Swords and the Fool. So it's like somebody is waiting to take a leap of faith. So everything about this reading, every two cards tells its own story. And it all looks to me like one person's been waiting, the other person's been ready to strike. The other person's been ready to be strike, to strike and then the other person's been waiting. So it's like the energies have gone backwards and forwards of you both waiting to make a move but yet nobody's moving here. Here, I see that you are being asked to take a leap of faith, but still you're in this energy of not speaking up, of not communicating, of not wanting to talk because you're waiting on the other person. And maybe that's vice versa too. Maybe the other person is waiting on you to do the strike, but there's a stalemate here. There's a stalemate. Because the other person's waiting on you, you're waiting on them, and neither one of you is ready to, to uptake. And it's stalemate. That's why it's taking so long. Let me just have a look what the next card is. Oh, look, here we go. Okay, <laughs> look at the difference with that. This person's coming in for the strike now. That's what, that is really good to see. So this is what we've been waiting for. That's really cool. So we have here, like here, we have this owl waiting to strike at the snake, right? He's waiting for the right time to go for his prey. Then we have the leopard and the snake here. And it doesn't matter which way you look at this. Again, we have this energy of wanting to strike here, wanting to go after something, keeping an eye on something, waiting for the right time. And then we have someone here who's like a deer in the headlights and we have a lamb to the slaughter. So it's almost like this lion has been waiting for this lamb still. So somebody's waiting here for somebody to strike again. <laughs> and then we have somebody not speaking up but waiting to strike and a leap of faith. Who's going to take the leap of faith here? Because we have... The owl now coming in for the strike. What a fabulous reading. Someone here is going to make a move. Whether that's you or whether that's the other person, irrelevant here. Someone here needs to speak up. This is a, a stalemate here. Someone needs to say something. But both of you are waiting on each other. <laughs> It's really cool, cool reading that one. I like that a lot. All right, Libra, let's have a look at an oracle card for you. At least somebody's going to do it. <laughs> Full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan here. Okay, full moon in Taurus. Let's have a read of that. It's almost like somebody needs to, oh my goodness, I went straight to the page. <laughs> Too funny. Okay, sometimes you need to weave a bit of magic and sometimes you need to be practical and sometimes you need to find a combination of the two. This card suggests that this is where you are right now. You need to use the laws of attraction to draw in what you want by imagining it, expecting it, welcoming it. But you need to balance that with taking down to earth steps towards your goal. This isn't about wishing on the moon and hoping for the best. It's about making something like a list of bullet points about how to achieve your dreams. If you're asking about money, this card heralds a change of financial fortunes, depending on both your past actions and what you're expecting and therefore attracting. Um, this is sort of a, quite an interesting energy. Um, and I feel that here, maybe you need to think about how you need to approach this. Maybe having no approach is not the way to go. So maybe now it's time that one of you takes the approach. There seems to be something 
sort of burning here, some sort of energy of waiting on something, but we have two people and neither one of them wants to make the strike. Will it be you? Thanks, Libra.